Hello, how do you solve this linear equation? This is t plus 5 equals t. We solve for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, I can consider this particular scenario. Let's subtract 5 from both sides of this equation. Or t plus 5. Then I subtract from 5 from here equals t minus 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0, so I have t equals t minus 5. Now right here, I can also decide to subtract t from both part of this equation again. So I'm going to have t minus, I will subtract t from both sides, t and this equals t minus 5, then minus t. I'm subtracting t from this particular equation. So t minus t is 0 equals t minus t here again is 0, so this is negative 5. And from here, 0 is never equals to negative 5. So this particular solution is wrong. Now let's try to take the squares of the power of this equation. F t plus five equals t. Taking the squares, I raise this to the power of two and this to the power of two. So, I need to expand this. You have a plus b raised to the power of 2 equals a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab. And in this equation, our a is t and b is 5. of t squared plus 5 squared plus 2 times t times 5 and this equals t squared, the one we have here. So from here I have t squared plus this will give us 25 plus this will give us 10t and this equals t squared. So we can move this over here of t squared plus 25 plus 20 minus t squared and this equals 0. So from here this, we will eliminate this. I'll have 25 plus 20 equals 0. So to solve 40, I move this over here. I will have 20 equals this is negative 25. So I can isolate the by dividing this by 10 and divide this by 10. 10 eliminates 10 of t equals negative 25 divided by 10. So from here, 5 divide this, you have 5, 5 divide this, you have 2. So t equals negative 5 divided by 2. So we are also going to check if this particular value will satisfy the equation. Let's do that. Let's check. So this is t plus 5 equals t. And our t equals 5 over 2. Is it negative or positive? That is negative 5 over 2. Right? So I'm going to substitute this for t here. I have negative 5 over 2 plus 5. Is it the same thing as negative 5 over 2? Question mark. 
Let's find the common LCM here, it is over 1. The common LCM here is 2. 2 divides 2, 1. 1 times negative 5, this is negative 5 plus. 2 divides 1, 2. 2 times 5, I have 10. Equals negative 5 divided by 2. From here, negative 5 plus 10 is positive 5 divided by 2. And this equals negative 5 divided by 2. Obviously, positive 5 divided by 2 is not the same thing as negative 5 divided by 2. So, this particular solution here is wrong. So, what then is the correct way of solving this problem? How can we solve it? C plus 5 equals T. Is there a solution? Now, Let's demonstrate this using graphical method. I have my graph coordinates. So this is my positive y axis. This is my negative y axis. This is my positive x axis. And this is my negative x axis. Now let's represent this using this graph. This, you can say y equals t plus 5, which plot that separately, and also we have y equals t. The left-hand side and the right-hand side. So, for y equals t plus 5, this can be our positive 5. This will be our negative 5. This is my negative 5. And this is my positive 5 in x axis. And the origin here is 0. So, for the t plus 5, I can easily represent it using this. Alright. So, this represents y equals t plus 5 because it curved across this and this negative part of the y the positive y and the negative y here and also for y equals t if you want to represent it this will cut through the origin so we are going to have it right here cutting through this origin here and this is for y, that is y there, equals t. So this actually shows you how the equation can be represented using graph. This is for t plus 5, and this is for y equals t. Have you noticed something? These are two parallel lines, and they do not meet. They do not meet. As long as they do not meet, we cannot have a solution. So because these two equations do not meet, that is why we do not have a solution. That's why we do not have a solution. So guys, the reason is because they are two parallel lines. So you can easily say that a solution to this is plus or minus infinity. And this actually is not a solution. It's just that no solution at all. This positive or negative infinity means there is no solution. So, if there is any option like that, like this, you can actually choose it. But if there is no option like this, it means there is no solution in this particular equation. So, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.